Hey, everybody. Welcome. Hey, guys. I've never been the big cheese. Never been the little cheese? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Well, maybe next week. Are you signed up for next week? Maybe you get to be it next week. Okay. I have school next week. Oh, you start school already? Our oh, school ends early. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. All right, guys, so this is the last day for uh, art with me uh, this week. So if you guys have anything that you guys want to draw today, today we're drawing, uh, I had some requests. We're drawing Tiana, we're drawing Superman. If there's anything else that you guys want to draw, go ahead and uh, write it in the chat, okay? If there's anything that you guys want to draw, make sure you guys have your paper. We're gonna draw Superman today and we're going to draw we're going to draw Tiana, Princess Tiana. Okay. And Superman, Declan. Or, I don't know, I don't know what they say. Hey guys, hey everybody, hey Maya, oh. hey Declan, hey Charlotte, hey Kaylee, hey Akshay, hey Emma, hey Zoya. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. All right, guys. Is there anything that you guys want to see drawn today? A raccoon. Who? A raccoon. A raccoon. Oh, like the raccoon from Pocahontas. Like I don't know. I just want to do a raccoon. Okay. Yes, Declan. Go ahead, honey. Um, I want to draw Superman. Yes, we're going to draw Superman. Don't worry. I got you. We'll do that one first with uh, Princess Tiana. Go ahead, Charlotte and Kaylee. Yes. What about I, My two choices were first, even yesterday. What, were the what was the choice, Charlotte and Kaylee? They yeah. wanted Tiana. Yeah, we're doing Superman and Tiana first, okay? So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw Tiana on one side and Superman on the other. Maya, go ahead, honey. Go ahead. A donut with a face. Oh, a donut with a face? That sounds fun, okay. Cute donut with a face. All right, anything else, guys? Did you get the raccoon? Yes, I'm gonna get the raccoon. Oh, this is cute. You want a donut with a mustache? Or do you want a donut? Do you want to just a donut with sprinkles in a face? Like a face that's cute. Okay, I think I got one. Did you, did you write Ariel? Did you look Captain Ariel? Ariel, yes. Can I do this red thing that's behind us? I'm gonna put a shield. I'm gonna put a shield behind them. Okay, guys, so we're gonna, we're gonna get started. Mm -hmm. Everybody has supplies and everything, your paper, your crayons, your markers. Yes, ready to go? Okay. So we are going to do, do you want the Ariel with the fin or the Ariel Princess Ariel? Didn't get them. With the, with the fin, like as if, as her mermaid, or do you want her in their princess gown? You want, sorry. She's you asking you. Princess gown? Charlotte, she wants to know about Tiana. Do you want her in the princess uh -huh. gown? I'm going to do Tiana first, but it, we're, we'll probably have time to do Ariel. Okay, do you want Ariel, Kaylee, in, in the mermaid legs or princess gown? Mm. Oh, yeah. Regular mermaid? Mermaid, mermaid. She I think she, they want the mermaid. <laughs> okay. okay, sounds great, guys. All right, grab your paper, grab your pencil. We're going to do uh, Superman, and we're going to do Princess Tiana. So here we go. I'm going to divide my paper in half. Hold on, I'm just gonna pull up my Tiana reference. And Tiana. Okay, pop, here we go. All right, I'm gonna divide this in half. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, Princess Tiana here. Whoops. And we're gonna do Superman here. Okay, here we go, whoops. All right, guys, so for both Princess Tiana, and we're gonna actually do the pop figures for Princess, I'm gonna show you what they're gonna look like, okay? So for Princess Tiana, how many of you guys have seen this? So Princess Tiana, we're drawing the pop figure of Princess Tiana, okay? And then we're gonna draw, draw Superman, and Superman pop. How many of you guys want to draw Superman? Raise your hand. Okay. So we're going to do this one. All right. So Declan, we're doing this pop Superman, okay? All right. Is that good? 
or do you want a regular Superman? Is that one good? Okay. All right, guys, so here we go. Princess Tiana. Whoops. So both of them are, we're gonna start off with a U shape for the face. So that's what we're gonna do first, okay? So with Princess Tiana, we're gonna go ahead and start with a U shape for her face, just like that. And for Superman as well. For Superman, it's gonna be a U shape for the face. So whichever one you decide to draw, if you're gonna draw both, then all you need to do is uh, start off with the U shape for the face, okay? So start off with the U shape for the face. So Princess Tiana and Superman, okay? Now, next part. For Superman and Tiana, both of them, because they're pop figures, they both have round eyes, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start a round eye here for Superman, a round eye here for Superman. And then we're gonna do for Princess Tiana, same thing. The only difference with uh, Princess Tiana and Superman, however, is that Princess Tiana has eyelashes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna color these in black because their eyes are black. Okay, color this. You can choose to color it with a marker, with a crayon, whatever you have. Okay, or you can color it after. Then Princess Tiana has three lashes. So one, two, three. So three going this way, like that. Okay, I'm gonna round her eye a little bit better. And then she has a little nose that kind of looks like a side V, like this. Same thing for Superman. Superman has like a little side nose that looks like that, okay? Now for both of them, they also have their eyebrows, okay? So we need to draw eyebrows on both of them, okay? So Superman's eyebrows looks a little bit meaner. So we're gonna do like a curve this way and then up. His eyebrows gonna be a little thicker than Tiana's. So it's gonna kind of go like that, okay? I'm gonna put this in closer so you can see this better, okay? Same thing for the other eye. It's gonna be a little, it's gonna go a line like this, but it's gonna get thicker here, right there, okay? This is, he's like getting ready for battle. Princess Tiana, however, she has thinner eyebrows, okay? So hers don't go as thick as Superman's, okay? It's just kind of almost like an arch, just like that, okay? See the difference? Okay. Now for Superman, his hair, he has like a curly, uh, curly cue on the, on the middle part of his hair. So it kind of looks like this, kind of like an S, okay? And then we double it up like this. So we make it thicker, okay? Then his hair goes up, bumps like this, and then down like that and then goes across like this, okay? For Tiana, for Tiana's hair, we're gonna go ahead and she's, we're gonna make her head a little bit bigger. We're gonna give her maybe like one or two finger spaces from her forehead and we're gonna, she also has a curly cue, kind of like Superman, but it's on the side right here. So it goes like this, okay? Like that. And then we're gonna do the top of her, uh, we're gonna do another line that goes like that kind of like what we did with Superman, okay? And then we're gonna do a line across, but it's kind of kind of arch it like this, okay? On the top of her head. Then we're gonna kind of do, once you have that part right there, you're gonna go ahead and do a bump that goes on the top like this, like a rainbow, okay? And then you're gonna do the side that goes like this, a little curvy, and then the side that goes a little curvy like that. It's gonna cover her ears, okay? Now for Superman, it's kind of the same thing, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, once you do that, you're gonna do a, you're gonna do it, let's place his ears first. So Superman's ears, you can see. So they're right next to his eyes, okay? On the left and right, okay? Then you're going to go ahead and do a bump on the right like this, okay? And then another big bump going up like this, down like this and like that, okay? Now, for Tiana, she has a crown and she has a flower crown. So we're gonna do another like rainbow for her headband right here that's a little on the thicker side. And then we're gonna do the petals. We're gonna start with the middle petal first. That's gonna look like this, okay? So the petal goes up like that, okay? So we're gonna do 
one in the center and two on the side. So we're gonna do another petal next to it and then another petal next to it like that. Then we're gonna do another petal here and another petal there. Okay, we're gonna try to get them as, as pointy as we possibly can. Okay, those are her petals. All right, you lift that up a little bit. For Superman, we're gonna start doing the details of the hair in a second. So for Superman, we're gonna do a couple lines, one, two, three, just so we can get some detail. His hair is kind of wavy, so we're gonna curve it like this. Just a couple lines in there so you can see his waves of his hair like that. Whoops. Curve it down like this. Just gonna outline that a little bit, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. Then you're gonna start with his neck, two lines there, okay? Now with Princess Tiana, we need to make the difference between her headband and her hair. So the top of her hair. So here, her hair is pushed up. So we're gonna create like curved lines going like this up to create that her hair is slicked back, okay? That, that's how you can see that her hair is slicked back. And then you're gonna create a little line in her curly cue right there on the front and then a couple little lines inside on the sides, okay? Like that. She does have some eyeshadow around her eye and that's pink. So I'm gonna block that out with like a pink marker. So <clears throat> you're gonna do like a little shadow that's a little bit on the pinky side over her eye. Once you start coloring in, you'll see, okay? Um, could, you, um, could you slow down? Yeah, of course. Okay, who's doing Superman? Raise your hand. One person, okay, Declan. All right, Declan, how are you doing with Superman? Good? Ooh, you're already starting to color it. Looks great, Declan. Awesome. Okay. So for Superman, Declan, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do his chest and his muscles, okay? So here on his neck, you're gonna create like a U shape, and then you're gonna do muscles. So we're gonna do a bump here on this side. We're gonna do another bump here. So two bumps here. And whatever we do to the right, we're gonna do to the left, okay? So go ahead and do the neck, the U shape there for the neck, a bump here for his muscle, for his uh, shoulder, and then we're gonna curve his arm down, okay? Who's ready to go on with Princess Tiana? Thumbs up, okay, great. So for Princess Tiana, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and start her neck, just kind of like what we did with Superman, okay? So we're gonna do a little neck, two little lines right there, like that. And then we're gonna do her shoulder, okay? Her shoulder's gonna go like this. She's more petite than Superman, okay? And then she, her, her Arm goes down like this, and then goes out like this, okay? We're gonna block out the rest of her arm, so we're gonna go down here, and then go up here, and her arm is gonna go, her hand is gonna go up like that, okay? I'll do her hands in a moment. We're just gonna block out the arm first, okay? Oh, Miss Elizabeth, are we gonna do a mouth for her? Yeah, no, the pop figures do not have a mouth, so we're not doing a mouth for her, okay? Pop figures don't have a mouth. Here, I'm gonna show you. I have a whole bunch of pop figures. Hold on a second. So look, so pop figures, I don't know if you guys have these or own any of these, pop figures don't have a mouth. They're basically just a U shape with the eyes and no mouth. This Wonder Woman, this one's my favorite. This is the new from the new movie that's coming out. So this Wonder Woman, the golden armor, so she doesn't have a mouth either, okay? So none of the pop figures have mouths. But good question. Okay. So with Princess Tiana, what we're gonna do, her other arm here, we're just gonna block out her other arm. It's gonna come down like this, a little tiny bump. So right here, a little tiny bump, and then just curve her, her hand like that, okay? So just stop right there. And then we're gonna, we're gonna start with her dress, okay? Because her dress is very detailed. Declan, for Superman, what we're gonna do, once you have his bump here, you're gonna come down with his arm this way, he has his arms around his waist, okay? And you're gonna create that like this, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other arm right here. We're gonna go under, curve this down, kind of like what we did with Princess Tiana here, down and across, okay? Just like that. 
and then we'll block out his chest so that it makes it easier for us to see it, where his hand's gonna go. So his chest is gonna go right there, and then across like this, okay? We're gonna do his hand that goes like this. Kinda, it kinda looks like a mitt. He doesn't really show his fingers, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. And that's his, his uh, belt. And then we'll do the bottom of his briefs right here. That looks like kind of like a triangle, but then it has like a, a straight line this way. Okay, so you can start right there. Now with Princess Tiana, we're gonna go ahead and get detailed in with her, with her body. Okay, so in the center of her body here, we're gonna go ahead and do a big V that comes out from here from here to here, okay? So start off with a big V there. You need to leave enough space in the center because then another, it's gonna be like a three peaks, okay? So once you do the big V, we're gonna do inside, we're gonna do a little mountain here, and then another little mountain here and a little mountain here. That's basically her petals, okay? So let me just show you. Do you guys see that? Trip, put this in closer. Oh, also, are we gonna do anything else with Tiana's hair? Uh, no, her hair is just up in a bun. Okay. Okay. I'll probably add a little bit more detail because it looks a little bare, but that's what the pop figure looks like. Okay. All right. So this is her dress. So her. Then once you have those lines right there, you're gonna create a line down here because this is basically the petal. Okay, in the center. And then she has a little necklace, so it's kind of like a diamond necklace that just you just do little like almost like a, uh, like raindrops across her neck, okay, just like that. And then her dress is gonna come down, like this, and like down like this, okay. And then it's gonna poof out like a big ball gown, and out like this. Okay, and then you're just gonna go across like that for her dress. We're gonna add the detail in a second because we need to add a big flower here, okay? Now, Declan, I'm gonna move on to uh, Superman real quick. So here, with Superman, you're gonna go ahead and start doing his legs. So his legs are gonna come down like this, okay? Kind of almost like a rectangle. And then we're doing his boot. Actually, you can go down like this. And then he has a bump here for his boot, okay? Same thing with the other side, okay? We're gonna do a line that goes down like this, like a rectangle, close that off. Then we're gonna go down and do his boot, okay? Just like that. Now he has a cape that goes underneath him. So you're gonna do the cape, kind of like what we did with your Darth Vader. So we're gonna do a line right here underneath his arm. The line is gonna go this way and curve. It's gonna go in between his legs, and then the cape is gonna curve all the way out like this and wavy like this, so it looks like it's flying in the wind, okay? So go ahead and start with that. With Princess Tiana, once we have her dress there, now we're gonna add the details. So you see here where we did the letter V? It's gonna be tucked to the side, so we're gonna take a line that goes down like this, okay? It goes down towards more to the left, okay? Kind of looking like a sash. Then we're gonna curve, we're gonna do a petal here. So we're gonna do like a petal here, we're gonna do a petal here, a petal here, and a petal here for a flower on her dress, okay? And then we're gonna do some leaves. Wait, so, can you do that again? I wasn't looking. Sure, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me get another piece of paper and I'll show you. Okay, hold on one second. So for the pedal, for the pedal, you can do this. You can do like this, like this. So it's kind of like you're drawing a flower on the side. Okay. No, wait, for the V, like for the V part, like. V? Oh, all you do is just take it down to your left. Okay. 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 All right. So once you have that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and now do a, a pet, um, you're gonna do the vine first and then we'll do the petals. So the vine is gonna look like 
Superman and Tiana's curly cue, but it's gonna go down like this. So you're just gonna take it down, down, down until like the bottom of the dress, okay? But it's not just gonna be one line, okay? It's gonna be, you're gonna double this up. So once you have your curly line all the way, your vine that goes down her dress, you're gonna double it. So you're gonna go back and you're gonna make it not too thick. You're gonna try to make it a little on the thinner side, but you'll curve it and then go down, okay? Like that. That creates the vine down her dress, okay? Then you have to add the little uh, leaves or petals around the vine. So you're just gonna do kind of like what you did with, with the petals on top. You'll just add a few little petals or leaves coming off the vine, okay? So you choose how many petals you want. You can keep it like that. And then I'm gonna add some petal, some, um, some leaves here to the bottom of the, and you can distinguish the leaves by adding little lines here to create the image of a leaf. You do a little line inside. So if you wanna do like the petal, the, the leaf of, off the petal, you're just gonna go like this, and then you do lines that go like this. Can okay. I see the picture of, of it so I can see what color? Of course. Hold on. So she has, do you see that? So it's a darker yes, that green vine. Is blue. Yeah, it's a darker green vine. And then it's a light green, okay? All right. So Superman, uh, Declan. So he has his chest symbol here. So what we're gonna do, we need to go ahead and do a little line here for his chest symbol. We're gonna do a line diagonally this way and this way. And then we're gonna do a line that comes in almost like a diamond. It looks like a diamond shape, okay, for his Superman symbol. Okay. And then we draw the letter S inside for his symbol. So his S is gonna look like this. So it's gonna come down. You can just draw the letter S or you can make it more stylized like his logo, like this, and then goes back up like that. And then on the outer part of the diamond shape, you're gonna create another, you're gonna make it thicker. So you're gonna outline the diamond. You see the logo? You're gonna outline that a bit, okay? And then we're gonna do his six pack. Okay, so for Tiana here, you're gonna go ahead and start doing the layout of her dress, okay? So the layout of her dress, we're gonna do a bump that goes like this. Look. Then we're gonna do another bump that goes down, but it's, a, it's basically, her dress is like a flower. So we're gonna create the petals. So watch what I'm gonna do. Right here where this vine is, I'm gonna curve it down like this, but I'm gonna go up like it looks like a petal. Does that, does that, does that make sense? So I'm gonna curve it like it looks like a petal from underneath. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one that goes down. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna curve it and then go up. So it looks like a petal. And then here on the left, I'm gonna go ahead and do just a little line there, okay? But I'm not done yet because she has some other kind of like longer triangles that go at the bottom of the base of her dress, okay? So these are the, these are the petals that create on the side but we also have to add some wrinkle lines for texture. So I'm gonna just add a few little wrinkle lines right here by that one. And then once you end up here at the bottom, you have to add its other petals, but they look more rectangular, like the two triangles, which are skinny triangles. Yeah, go ahead, Maya. Go ahead, honey. Let's see. Go ahead. You're going too fast for me. No problem, I'll stop. Um, and also, can you show me the picture of um, Tiana? Because I want to figure out what colors are there. Of course, yeah. Okay, so let me show you the picture of Tiana, okay? So that's the picture of Tiana. You see that? Yeah. So it's like greens. And I'm going to color this in so you guys can see it as well. Right now, we're just drawing it out. Okay. 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 How are you guys doing with Princess Tiana? How many of you guys are ready to move on to the bottom of the dress? How many of you guys are ready to move on to the bottom of the dress? Yes, thumbs up? Okay. All right. So. You know how to take a screenshot on a computer? I forgot. Yeah, you, well, if you have a Mac, it's command, it's command, hold on, command shift, command shift four. 
with a screenshot? I yet? have a Windows. Oh, I don't know, honey. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. Okay. So here we go. The bottom of the dress for Tiana, what you're going to do, you're going to do like acute triangles. What does that mean? They're skinny triangles. So love, watch. I'm just going to go down and up. It's almost like a V. You see that? It looks like a long V at the bottom. So you just continue doing those Vs until you can't anymore. So all the way to the bottom of the dress. Okay. That's all you're doing. You're doing V's all the way down. V here, V here. I was able to fit like five long V's. One, two, three, four, and five. But you might have drawn a bigger poofier dress, so might, you might have less. Yeah, I mean more. Jacqueline, go ahead, honey. I want to share my Superman. Awesome. Let's see it. Let me spotlight you. Hold on one second, honey. Let me spotlight you. Ah, hold on. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. You are so fast, Declan. All right, so what you need, to, what we're gonna add to Superman, we need an environment, right, Declan? So where are we gonna put him? Every time we, let's see, where can we put him? We can probably do like a globe in the back. We can probably do like a, a city skyline, right? So Declan, I'm gonna just add some wrinkles to his cape, just so it looks a little bit better. I'm going to add a circle to his belt and two lines here. Okay, I'm going to create a type of environment for Superman, which is going to be like a globe here, like the Daily Planet, right? Where he works as Clark Kent. And then I'm going to do a globe. So the globe is going to come down like this. You can add this or not, Declan, okay? That's the globe. You can add that if you want. And then you can add a city skyline. So look. How you draw buildings, you're just going to go behind him and you're going to draw some lines and some buildings behind him like this. Now, again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, okay? But if you want to, and then you can add like the night sky. So I can create like some superhero buildings. These are rectangles, just long rectangles, short rectangles for windows, and then you can color that in, okay? So if you want to do that, you can or add whatever type of background. Maybe you can add like any type of scene, like crime fighting in the background, uh, Lex Luthor in the background. So you can add anything that you like here to the background, okay? So I'll show you what my finished product was when I did this one, okay? So you can add that. Let me just show you what I have. Okay, so look, Declan. So what I did when I finished mine, I did this, and that was Superman, okay? So yours looks amazing, Declan. Great job. Great job. I love it, Declan. My Superman in the North Pole. Oh, awesome. That's great. See, it doesn't have to be the same. Great. Yes, Maya, go ahead, honey. Um, are we done with Tiana? No, we're not. I was just Can waiting. Can you find a picture of how Lex Luthor looks? Yes. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, so Princess Tiana, we're done with her dress. Now let's move on to her hands, okay? Here we go. So her hands here, we're gonna start with the right hand. We're gonna go up here, and we're gonna come down for her finger like this, okay? And then we're gonna curve her thumb up like this. Okay, so it kind of looks like a, like a claw or like, like this, like the letter C. But then we need to add her, her other fingers so we're gonna add uh, three other fingers in the background, okay? So now that her hand is open like that, we're gonna do a little line that comes down like this. You're not gonna see her full finger. That's one, another bump, two, and another bump, three. So you don't see all of it. You're just seeing like the side of her fingers, okay? But now Princess Tiana also wears a glove. So we need to make sure that we do the line for the glove, which goes over here, kind of like right underneath her arm like that. Okay, for her glove. All right, next. We're gonna do the same thing for her, her other arm. She has a glove right here, so we're gonna do the line here to separate the glove. We could do a little wrinkle line. You see where your arm bends? There's a wrinkle line. Like even if you bend your arm right now, you'll see a line when you bend your arm. You'll see the line right there. So we're gonna just place that line to give it some dimension, okay? Now for the other hand right there, that one's curved, right? 
So we're gonna add her thumb that goes down like this, just like a letter U, look, a letter U, like a long letter U. And then we're gonna do two fingers showing on this one. So we're gonna just curve this over and do one finger, but then we can just uh, do another finger behind it like this, underneath it, there we go. That's it, and that's Princess Tiana. Now, if you wanna draw the frog, the frog is easy to draw. So you can draw the frog on the side next to her if you like, or we can just leave it like that. Now with Princess Tiana, I know that um, she also has, the pop figure doesn't, but like her regular outfit has lines that go like this, like this, in a straight line, and then little like, like that type of situation that comes out of her crown, right? It looks a little bit fuller. I don't know if you guys remember that. So, how many of you guys want to draw the frog for Princess Tiana? Thumbs up. Go ahead, Maya. Go ahead. I want to draw the frog that here is mine. Oh, that's beautiful. Hold on. Let me spotlight you, honey. Hold on. I'm going to spotlight you guys so I can see. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Yes, you'll have enough space on the left or the right, okay? Wherever you like. Okay. okay. Let's see, Charlotte and Kaylee. Let's look at yours. Hold on. Let me spotlight you guys. So cute. Great job, guys. Awesome. Now, do you guys want to draw the frog for the for Princess Tiana? Let's see, Zoya. I, I want to, but can I? I love it. Looks great. Hey, Chelsea, how are you? Hey, honey. I think Hi. she was having. Oh. All right. Hi. Hi. Okay, we're going to draw the frog real quick, if you guys want to draw that, and then we're going to move on to, to the next one, okay? So the frog is pretty easy. I'm going to draw, uh, I kind of ran out of space here, but I'm going to try to fit the frog right here, okay? So here we go. So the frog is going to have, maybe, it's going to be about this big, okay? So I'm going to do two bumps here, kind of like one, two, like an M, okay? Kind of like an M. I'm going to bring that in closer so you can see. Okay, then I'm gonna make his cheeks. His cheeks are gonna come out like this, and then come down, and then out and down, like that, okay? Then he's gonna have his body that comes down like this, just like a, like a U, okay? Now his body is gonna overlap in the dress because I don't have room, so just bear with me, okay? So his leg is gonna come out, like this, out this way. I'm gonna make it darker so it doesn't co uh, collide with the dress, okay? So just do that line there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it really big because I need to add his, uh, his hand, okay? So just like that, wait right there. Now I'm gonna do his arm first so it doesn't, so you don't, uh, here. So his arm is gonna come down from the side right here and it's gonna come down and it's gonna curve one, two, three, just like this, okay? I'm gonna color that in so you can see that better because since I'm drawing with marker, I cannot erase, I cannot erase it, the line. So you're gonna erase that back line. So do you see that's the foot right there, the front foot. And then the back foot is this line right here that curves like this. And then you add a, a line in the center. And then his other, his other foot comes out like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add color here so you can see, okay? So just erase those back lines from her dress, okay? You don't need those. But I can't erase it because I'm drawing a marker, okay? Now he does have like polka dots, like little dots here, so I'm gonna add a dot here, and I'm gonna add a dot here. Actually, let me see if I can get another piece of paper so I can draw this better. Hold on a second. Actually, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw the frog here just so it just doesn't look so bad. Okay, so look, bump here, bump here, face here, face here, curvy bottom, like that for his body. His leg comes down like this, Okay, his other arm comes down the same way, like that, okay? Now his leg comes out this way, 
and then it comes out like this. One, two, okay? And then his other leg comes out the same way, okay? So his other leg is gonna come out arch like this, and then his leg, one, two. Make his uh, leg feet a little bit pointy, okay? Now, um, he's gonna have a couple like dots right here. This one has a line right here, kind of like what we did with the crevice of the arm. And this one has a line here, okay? We're gonna do a couple like dots there. So he's kind of in a white stance, okay? Now his eyes, he's gonna do, we're gonna do like a mouth that goes out like this, kind of like a smiley face. We're gonna, we can curve a little bit right there. And then his eyes, his eyes are gonna look like this. So in here with the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and do kind of like, almost like an oval, oval like that. And then we're gonna, do a little line right there. And this one's gonna be black. This one's gonna be black. Okay? And that's it. And that's the frog. Okay? That looks much better than, <laughs> than what I was doing here. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna add it in just so you can see the reference. All right, that looks better, okay? And the little dots, I'll color him in. But that's his frog, that's her frog, okay? How many of you guys have the frog? Good? We're good? Okay. Maya, you are good? Okay, great. Can I show you mine? Of course, yes, please. So I already colored in both of the eyes. Mm -hmm. but Beautiful. Hold on. Let me spotlight you, honey. Hold on. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. And the frog, I love it. So good, guys. Great job. Great job, Maya. Anybody else want to share? Declan, go ahead, honey. Let's see. Go ahead, Declan. I drew a picture of Lex Luthor. Ooh, I love that. And, it, and his cape. Look at that. That's great. Did you find a reference picture for him? Or did you just make it up out of your head? Um, I, we, I found a picture. Awesome, that's great. Can I see your Superman, Declan, as well? Yes. Awesome, great job. Another symbol I made for him. Oh, that looks great. A question mark. So creative. <laughs> All right, anybody else wanna share? Go ahead, Charlotte and Kaylee, go ahead. So good, guys. Oh, you're outlining it? Great. Awesome. Great job. Can't wait to see them all color. Oh, those frogs are look so cute. So cute, guys. Great job. Anybody else want to share? Emma, let's see. I'm going to spotlight you, honey. Let's see. Awesome. Oh, so cute. Adorable. I love it. Great. Zoya, go ahead. We're going to move on to the next one in a second, okay? Go ahead, Zoya. I'm not Done, but oh, I love it. you put the frog on the top. That's perfect. I should have probably done that. I have more space up there. <laughs> awesome, great. Maya, go ahead, honey. Um, um, are we gonna do the happy space smiley um donut? Yes, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do uh, what was the other one that you guys asked for? Ariel raccoon. and a raccoon. Okay, all right, let's see who do we have so far. Let's see, okay. Anybody else? Uh, Maddie, do you want to share, honey? I want to see yours. Let's see, Maddie. Oh. oh, beautiful. What did you use? Did you use marker fan or watercolor or acrylics? What watercolor. Did you Watercolor. Watercolors. It's so gorgeous, honey. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Who else? Uh, Chelsea, do you want to share? Okay, uh, Chelsea, do you want to share, honey? Not yet? I actually just started. I'm sorry, I was driving. My oh, no, car no, no. went out. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah, okay, sorry. no, 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 you don't have to apologize. All right, uh, Stephanie, Akshay, and Bailey, do you guys want to share? No? Okay. Sure. Um, I, I can share. I just, 
I just Let me first just turn off my virtual. Okay, background. sounds good. Go ahead. Let's see, because we're going to move on to the next one. Go ahead, Bailey. Okay, let me just turn off my virtual background. Okay, go. Okay, this is what I drew. Because um, I came in late, so I'm, I drew Princess Me and Princess Kitty. Okay. She's in one of my comic books that I made. Awesome. So you drew She's in the song that I made in this comic book called The, the Book of Friendship. Wait, awesome. Yeah, the Color of Friendship. Oh, that's awesome, Bailey. Thank you for sharing, honey. You're Maya, welcome. Maya, go ahead, honey. What color was the princess? The the um the um what color was her hair? Uh, it's brown. Okay. Her hair is brown. Okay. Miss Elizabeth, yes. I just I just um finished. Can I show? Of course, yes. Go ahead, Zoya. All right, we're gonna move on to Ariel. Oh, beautiful. I love the background. Great job, honey. Now you guys can always add like clouds. You guys can add uh, flowers. You can add whatever you want to her. And she loves to sing. So, right? She loves to sing. You can always add some music notes in the background like she's singing. It's up to you. Okay. You can add a sun in the background. You can have her. Um, I'm still spotlighted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so you can add like Music notes in the background, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna move on now. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do three. So we're gonna do Princess. Er I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna split the paper into three. We're gonna do. Let's see, Princess. We're gonna do Ariel on one side. We're gonna do a raccoon on top, and then a donut on the bottom. Okay. So you choose what you guys want to do. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and move this out of the way. You guys can choose which one you want to draw. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna split my paper in three. You don't have to split your paper in three, you can choose which one you wanna draw, okay? You don't have to draw all of them, you can just draw one, you can choose whichever one you want. Okay, so again, I'm gonna split my paper in three. So I'm gonna put Ariel here. I'm gonna do Ariel here, okay? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do donut, uh, donut face or happy donut. Happy donut, happy donut. And then we're gonna do a raccoon here. Okay. You choose. I'm gonna show you what we're, uh, what we're drawing. Okay, so this is the happy donut. It's pretty easy, guys. Happy donut with sprinkles. You can change it up however you like. We I have, like that one. We have the aerial that we're gonna do, pop. And then we have the raccoon that is this raccoon, okay? So you choose what you wanna draw, okay? So with Ariel, the first step that we're gonna do again, because she's a pop figure, Ariel, we're gonna go ahead and start with the U-shaped face. Okay, U-shaped face. And then we can start with her eyes that are two circles and her little uh, nose that looks like a side bee, okay? So you can go ahead and start with that. That foundation, and remember her lashes. One, two, three lashes, okay? Go ahead and start with that. You can even start with her ears as well, okay? Here. I'm gonna go with the donut. Donut, the donut come, uh, some donuts come in different shapes, right? Shapes and sizes, but this is gonna be a round donut. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a big circle. A big circle, like this, okay? Then we're gonna add another circle inside the donut because it has to have a hole in the center, okay? Now you can choose whatever type of frosting that you want to put on there. So I'm gonna create its eyes first. So I'm gonna do some cute eyes. I'm gonna do two circles, kind of like what I did with Princess Tiana. Two circles, but instead, uh, of just color them all black, I'm gonna do a little a light, uh, a circle, another circle inside, so then that way it could be a highlight. And I'm gonna color that in, okay? Now I could give my donut lashes if I want to or not, okay? So I'm not gonna do lashes on this one, I'm just gonna keep it like that. And there are its two eyes. Now if you look at it from far away, it looks like it's upside down and it's like saying, oh, you know? But, but it isn't. These are its eyes, and then I'm gonna do a mouth. 
Now you can choose to draw any type of mouth that you want. I'm just gonna do a cute little mouth like this, kind of like the letter U, okay? And that's that. I'm gonna do the frosting in a second. So you can go ahead and start that. The frosting, the frosting is basically curved all around the donut. So you just do, let me show you. Um, so with the frosting, you just do kind of like, like waves around like this, or kind of like mountains, depending on how you view your paper, how you're looking at your paper like that. That's like part of the frosting. And then the frosting comes down like this, curvy on the bottom like this. So you just wanna just curve it a little bit, okay? It doesn't have to go all the way to the top. Now, if you wanna add sprinkles, you can add sprinkles. I'm gonna stop there for, for it now. Uh, with the raccoon, with the raccoon, we're gonna go ahead and start its head. It kind of looks like a Darth Vader helmet head. It round like a rainbow. It curves out like this, okay? And then he curves his mouth like this. We give him a little spiky like that and like that, okay? So if you're doing the raccoon, you're starting with its head like that. It's a big head, okay? With Ariel, we're gonna go back to Ariel. So now that we have her face laid out, we're gonna go ahead and start her eyebrows. It's kind of like Princess Tiana. They all have the same eyebrows. They all, they all kind of look the same, okay? Except their features. That's Ariel. Her hair is long. Now, we're gonna curve her hair going like this, almost kind of like a wave, Whoop, like that, boom. And then we're gonna do the side hair right here like that, okay? On the top of her head, it's gonna, again, we're gonna make it thick. So her hair is gonna match the line that we did where it curves up and down like this. And then we're gonna curve this line right there and do a little bump right here that goes behind up to there. We're not gonna go any further because we need to block out her arm. And we're gonna do the same here. This hair is gonna go out like this, okay? We're not gonna do anything else there. We're not gonna block anything else out. We're gonna start with her neck and the center of her face. Okay, start with that. Now with the donut, you can go ahead and add sprinkles. You can add sprinkles like this. And the sprinkles, you wanna make sure that they're going in different directions. So you don't want them all going in the same direction. You can make thick sprinkles anywhere that you like. Just turn it around, turn. They kind of look like skinny ovals going everywhere, okay? And then you can add a few more sprinkles here, sprinkles there, and then you can add also dots, or you can add like little circles for little sprinkles, or you can just add dots like that, add colorful dots, and you can just do that. If you wanna add, if you wanna add like some hands to the, to the donut, you can. Like let's say it, you're going to draw like just a simple hand like this, where it's like, yay, <laughs> I'm going to be eaten. <laughs> you can do that, okay? Just like that. All right, so with the raccoon, if you're doing the raccoon, I'm gonna move on to the Little Mermaid back in a second, but I'm gonna start with the raccoon here. All right, so the raccoon, we're gonna go ahead and block out his face. So here in the center, we're gonna do a upside down uh, triangle that goes like this. We're gonna do a bump over his nose and a bump over his face like this. So bump over his nose like a rainbow, another bump here like a rainbow going all the way to the end of his cheeks. Okay. You're gonna do two circles for the eyes. One here, one here. And then you're gonna do, his eyes are going sideways and you're gonna leave a little circle inside the center and color everything else in black. So you're gonna do like a, like a reflection line again, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. And then in the center of his face right here, we're just gonna do like a curved line right there in the center, okay? Kind of looking like Darth Vader. All right. How are we doing? Let me see. Let me pull this in closer. Okay. Little Mermaid, let's go. Little Mermaid. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to start with her shoulders again, kind of like what we did with Princess Tiana. We're going to do a bump here and a bump here. We're going to come down with her arm up and then go up like this, okay? And then we're going to curve her hand like this. We're going to do the same thing here with this one and we're going to curve, we're going to curve up. Okay. All right. 
the next arm we're going to also curve down like this and this one's going to go across like this kind of like princess tiana's and we're going to just curve that arm like that okay she has a bikini top uh that's purple it's two like two seashells so we're just going to do a bump that goes out like this a bump that goes out like this and just like that okay and there's lines in the center we can do two lines in the center of each uh of each one or three lines depending on what you can fit there okay you're going to do her waist that comes down like that okay i'm going to stop right there so i can give you guys time to catch up and then we'll do a v right there okay v for her waistline okay i'm going to move on to the raccoon the donut's done you can go ahead and add whatever you want to the donut but the donut's done the raccoon here so for the raccoon, we're gonna go ahead and draw his ears, his big ears that go like this, kind of like cat ears. Big ear right here, big ear right there, and then a triangle inside, okay? Kind of looks like a dog right now, but he'll look like a raccoon in a moment. Once you have his ears, he has like a mountain-shaped eye that looks up like an arch, like this, and then you're gonna do another one over it. Okay, so two bumps over it. So he's starting to look more like a raccoon, okay? And then you're gonna do his little mouth that goes like this. Up, and then he has an open mouth with a little tongue inside, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. With the little mermaid. Miss Elizabeth. Yes. For the raccoon, I'm following along, but I'm also adding my own details. Is that yeah, okay? you can add whatever you like. Remember, this is your drawing. You can add whatever you like, okay? I'm just picking, I just picked one that was cute. All right, for Little Mermaid, we're, we're getting there. We're almost there with her. So with the Little Mermaid, we have her body. Now we're going to do uh, the top of her fin that goes like this. Look. So up, we're going to curve like this, and we're going to curve on the other side, okay, like this. Just like that, okay? I'm gonna put this in closer so you can see a little bit better. Okay, okay. And then her tail is kind of like, almost like Superman and uh, Princess Tiana's curly cue. So what you're gonna do, once you have these two right here, you're gonna curve her tail this way. So watch. You're gonna curve it like this and curve up, okay? Like that, kind of like a hook. Okay, like a fish hook, like this. But the other side is gonna be a little bit curvier, okay? So hold on, there we go. So the other side is gonna be curvier. You need to give her a hip first. So her hip is gonna bump out, and then you're gonna curve in, like this, okay? Like that. Now here on the top, we're gonna create this into like a, like a upside down V, like this, okay? And now we have to do her fin. So her fin almost looks like a rose petal, but a little bit curvier. So look, um, this is gonna curve out like this. And this one's gonna curve out like this, like this, okay? It's almost kind of like we're doing a W, okay? Do you see that? It's kind of like a W, a W. But then we're gonna curve her fin from the top here. It's gonna curve in words like this and out words like that, okay? And the same thing on the other side. So this curves out and like that, okay? Now her, her curve here for the fin, we're gonna do lines that represent the fin, okay? So you're gonna kind of curve the lines the same way the fin is drawn, okay? Like that. Now there's not much more detail for her um, other than her hands. We're gonna do her hands and then we can add her hair. Cause now that we've placed her arm here, we can go ahead and finish her hair off, okay? And then we'll do the detail of the scale. So for her hand here, we're gonna go ahead and go up like this. We're just gonna curve her hand like this and curve a thumb right there, okay? Like that. Just like that. And the same thing for the other hand. We're gonna kind of like create like a letter C that goes like this, kind of like she's just holding on to something like that, okay? 
Now she's holding, it looks like she's holding like a basket or like a bag that she found under the seat. So you can add a little line that goes like this and we're gonna curve that line and just create a, like a basket or a purse. You can create whatever you like. I'm gonna just create what she has in her hand, kind of like a basket. Maybe she has all her thingamabobbers in it, right? And then you're gonna, so you have her two hands, her two arms. And then what you're gonna do, we're gonna finish her hair off. So her hair is gonna go out and you're gonna make it as long as you want, okay? So I'm gonna go behind her hair like this. I'm gonna do a couple, a couple lines in her hair like this, just to show dimension, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. I'm just gonna curve her hair, kind of like what we did with Princess Tiana. And then I'm gonna curve her hair here in the back, behind her hand, like that. And then I'm gonna add some lines coming down her hair, like this, okay? Now you can add anything that you want to her hair. Like let's say we wanted to add a starfish or I know she usually has like different things in her hair. I'm gonna probably add maybe like a little starfish to her hair here and make this a little cuter. So add a little Use the fork. Oh yeah, we could do the, we could do a fork there. Yeah. We can even add, she could even be holding a fork or you can even put a fork in the basket. You know, you can put a fork in the basket that's coming out. It's up to you. Now here for her, her scale, you're gonna do basically like W's or like U's. You're gonna do U's that just go across like this. If you wanna add detail to her fin, okay? So you're gonna just do U's, one U, attach it. Just keep on doing U's. If you want to add detail, okay? And you're just gonna take it all the way down to the bottom of the tail, okay? So if you wanna do that. And then you can add any type of background that you want, any type of environment. You can even add her friends and you can add bubbles. Look, bubbles, you do a circle and you do like this. I'm sorry, what Chelsea? Yeah, you taught us how to make like, hang on, make like sand from the Nemo lesson yeah. in the beginning. Exactly, you could do sand, it's up to you. You can create any, any type of environment. I could create a rock in the background if I wanted to. I can create some bubbles. I can create a sun in the background. You know, just add what you like, okay? So that's Ariel so far, okay? That's pretty, she's pretty much done. I'm gonna, create, I'm gonna finish off the, the raccoon, okay? Here we go. And I'll, I'll start adding some more stuff. All right, so the raccoon, we have his face. Now we're gonna do his body. His body's gonna go like this. He's sitting down, so his body's gonna curve here and then curve here like this. So that's part of his arms and his, uh, his um, belly. So once you have that, you're gonna curve his arm like this, okay? And then curve his other arm down like that, okay? We're gonna create an arch going this way like this for the center of his belly. Let me move this over so you can see this a little better, okay? Now we're gonna do his, his, his arm, I mean his hands. So his hands are gonna curve down like this. And we're gonna just kind of like almost create U's. One, two, three, four, like four U's. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, and then the fourth one is hidden. Next, his foot is, he's sitting, he's sitting out. So let me pull this back a little bit. So he's sitting out, okay? So we're gonna do a big paw that comes out like this, watch. We're gonna do a big U right there for his paw. And then the other one here, a big U right here. Once you have those U's, we're gonna create the foot. And the foot are basically like little arches. So the little arches, there's only three. So it goes one, two, and three, okay? Same thing on the other side, one, two, and three. And then we can create a little like rainbow line here to create some dimension. Now it looks like his feet are missing from his legs because they are, we haven't attached his legs yet. So this is the easy part right here. So once you have his feet, you're gonna go ahead and arch here and arch here like a rainbow right there. And then you're gonna go attach the legs that come down like this. You're gonna arch it like that and then arch it like this, okay? 
Now raccoons, what is the most uh, significant thing about a raccoon? What do we know about a raccoon? What does it have that makes it look like a raccoon? It's huge tail, okay? So it's huge tail. So right here, because the raccoon is sitting, we're gonna create a big tail that comes from behind its back, like this, whoop, and then big fat tail like this, okay? Now it has stripes on its tail, so we're gonna curve one, two, as do your stripes thick, you don't want thin stripes because a raccoon doesn't have thin stripes. And then they're purple, a dark purple, and a light purple, and that's the raccoon. Now you can add anything else that you want to the raccoon. Maybe it's sitting at the park waiting for some ice cream. Um, I'm gonna add like maybe a little sun here. Maybe it's at the park, I'm gonna do a tree in the background. Maybe it's having a picnic, it's waiting for its friends to arrive. Um, Miss Elizabeth, yes. can I show you what I did? Of course, yes, I wanna see what all of you guys did. I'm gonna turn my virtual background off, it doesn't even work, but. No problem. <laughs> I've never had a virtual background. Uh-huh. It's kind of fun, really. right? Okay. Yeah, because this is, a, this is a new computer, so it didn't have any pictures. Go ahead, Zoya. Okay. So. Oh, cute! You changed the pose. Awesome. It looks great. It looks good, Zoya. Did you do the Little Mermaid as well? Yeah, I did. I did the donut. And I did the little mermaid. Oh, cute. Let me see what you did. What did you add to her hair? Did you do the starfish or did you do something else? I just else? did my own kind of line. All right, awesome. Let me see. Let me check out everybody else's. Let's see. Who wants to share? Charlotte and Kaylee, how are you guys doing? Let's see. Let's share. I love seeing everybody's work. Go ahead. Gorgeous. 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 Awesome, great. Oh, so cute. Yes, girls. Donut, donut. Great job. Did you guys do a donut too? No. <laughs> no. Um, I made Ariel in her bed. That's her little vanity. That's her bed. Awesome. Can you hold it up so we can see a little better? Oh, I love it. Great. You guys are so creative. There's a little fork sticking out, um, fork sticking out of the back. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Great job. Great. Okay, anybody else want to share? Uh, I'll see. Oh, let me see, Emma. Let's see. Hold it up. Cute. So cute. Chelsea, do you want to share, honey? Yes, please. So, um, this is my... Oh, sorry, it's on a chair. This is my Ariel. I decided I'm going to do a line of drawing superheroes versus Disney princesses. Awesome. Because I love it's super, it. it's like a game. Uh huh. I'll show it to you another time, though. Awesome. I love it. So good, Chelsea. Great job. Who else wants to share? Declan, let's hear from you, honey. Let's see, honey. Go ahead. Here. Oh, look at your donut and the raccoon. So good, Declan. What's your favorite type of donut, Declan? Chocolate. Chocolate with sprinkles? Yes. Yes, looks great. All right, who else wants to share? Maddie, can I see what you've done? Madeline? Let's see yours, honey. Oh, so beautiful. Awesome. Did you draw a fish on the bottom? Oh, yeah, I could have drawn Sebastian, huh? I love that. Looks so good. I love that you're using watercolors. Maya, do you want to share, honey? Maya, do you want to share? Let's see. Oh, beautiful. You too. You did the fish. Awesome. So cute. Oh, uh, the donut. Oh, I love that you changed the face. Oh, okay. It's funny. When you turn it upside down, it looks like it's a different face. Turn it upside down, it looks like it's screaming. <laughs> Do you see that? It's like an optical illusion. <laughs> Great job. I can't hear you. Go ahead. And I also wanted to share, because I have a binder 
um, full of some of the pictures that I made. And can I share one of them? Of course, yes. So first, here's a binder that I have. And uh -huh. um, it has something here that you can put a picture in. Yes. So I'm going to write Maya's binder of art or mm -hmm. Maya's art book. Uh -huh. I made some extras after the last meeting. Oh, beautiful. And um I right now and um right now I'm put it I'm um because it has here this thing here. So I'm gonna I'm stapling um some of my pictures to put in. Awesome. And also I can just put in the fold there. Awesome. Great job, Maya. I love that. And I also made um, these two monsters. Let's see. Oh, cute. How were you inspired by those monsters? Like, um, because I had a book club and, um, and we, it's a chapter book and the chapter book had monsters in them. So we I made monsters. That. I love that. Great job, guys. Anybody else want to share? We're wrapping up for time right now. I was gonna start coloring some stuff. Actually, and Stephanie, do you guys wanna share? I do. Okay, Bailey, go ahead. So, I actually did a little bit more on to the oh, princess and the kitty, and I said, and donut, cause she's <laughs> holding the donut. donut, and I put it like glitter. Awesome on it and then the, her shoes are glittery okay. the ones that she she's buying and her shoes that she took off nice that and her cool. face um she put on some stuff that makes her look glittery oh. and i also made this sign because i like making signs uh-huh so i made this sign it's oh, a for sale sign uh -huh. and there's a cat on there Awesome, I see that. I'm just trying to get it together. Awesome. Miss Elizabeth, I finally finished Sienna. May I show her? Of course, yes, please do, Chelsea. And this is the house I'm, I'm working on. Ooh, beautiful, Chelsea. Great job, Chelsea. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. So if anybody else wants to... Elizabeth, can I please show the house that I was talking about? Oh, like course. the for sale sign? Sure, of course. That looks great. Great. This Chelsea. is the house. Oh, wow. That's and a then this is house. inside. It, ha oh. it has lots of stuff. And it even has a shower. It has seats. Uh -huh. It has um, a TV. It has an air conditioner. And it has art. I love it. So good. It's like a 3D model. Like that's mm -hmm. what architects do before they build the actual thing. And then it has a K. Awesome. And then double. Bye. See you at snack break. We're going to go back to the other meeting. We'll see you back yeah. at the next yeah. class. Great job, Bailey. All right, guys. That's it for today. It's been a pleasure having you guys this week. I hope you had a fun time. Keep on drawing. Keep on coloring. I would love to see all your artwork. If your parents, uh, once you finish your artwork, if you want to uh, have your parents snap a picture and have them email it to Ashley and I, I would love to see your finished work. Thank you. Miss Elizabeth, I want to say thank you so much for having me and for all you've done to help my charity. Thank you so much for the fundraiser and for these classes. This has been amazing. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Chelsea. We love having you. Thank you, guys. Love having you guys all. Bye, Miss Elizabeth. I miss you. Miss you, too. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great one, everybody. I'll see you guys during snack break for 11 o'clock. Bye, guys. Bye, Declan. Bye, Stephanie.